Well, praise the Lord. We're just so glad and happy this evening to be back and visit with you for a little while just to tell you about the love of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, Amen. but have everlasting life. You see, he said, It's not my will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And so the decision is up to you and me. I'm glad I made a decision one day to follow Jesus. The songwriter says, I have decided to follow Jesus. <laughs> you see, the world behind me, the cross before me, because I've got my mind made up, I'm following after Jesus. And so we're so glad and thankful that we can tell you about God's love. And we know uh, what it is to be loved of God. And so my prayer is today that you feel the touch of the Master's hand. I'm praying that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will just flow across the airwaves, touch people's hearts and lives, and let them know, let them realize, hey, that it's Jesus that died for us, that we could have life and have it everlasting. Amen. Praise God. Yes, we've got life in this old world, but one day we're going to lay this body down. Mm -hmm. And it's then whenever Jesus steps out on the clouds of glory, my, my, you think about it. When he steps out on the clouds of glory, the trump of God shall sound, says the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then those that remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. And then shall we ever be with the Lord. And so, you see, I, I don't know about you, but I'm looking upward and onward. I'm not really looking for a hole in the ground. I'm looking for a hole in the sky. Yeah. Because that's the way I'm going whenever I leave this old world. And so I'm glad and thankful for that today. We thank God uh, for all of those that have uh, stood by us, uh, prayed for us, and lifted us up uh, before the very throne of grace. And for those that have helped us out financially, for the singers that uh, sacrifices their time and uh, their money to uh, come and sing, we thank God for them. And so you see... Mind we think, well, it's just a television broadcast. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, but if it was for me, I could understand that people wouldn't care for it. Uh, but you see, it's not for me. It's for you. And that's the reason that I'm here. And I'm not trying to get something away from you. I'm trying to give you something. I'm trying to get you to receive salvation, which is full and free. Yeah, and so you yeah. see, but it's your choice. You either got to receive it or you reject it. That's entirely up to you. Uh, but as I said a while ago, I made up my mind. I'm going to follow Jesus. I'm a follower of him. I want to say hi to, uh, to Ruth and Irvin and Crystal and Chuck, David and Marlene, John, I'm sorry, John and, and Darlene, or Marlene. I still can't already talk. And so you pray uh, that God will teach me how to talk. You see, I've had a lot of throat problems in the last little while. Uh, I told Brother Roscoe today, he said, I ain't going to sing tonight. We're only going to have two songs. I said, no, we need three. Uh, my throat's in not very good shape. Uh, and so uh, you just pray that God will reach down and touch uh, is our, our prayer this evening, that uh, God will touch you. I mind that God will touch us in return. And because this is what it's all about, yeah. is sharing and praying one for another, helping each other along life's way. We can't make it by ourselves. We need help. I, I told a fellow today, I said, everybody needs somebody. If it's nobody, if it's just someone to talk to once in a while, we need somebody. And so I, I praise God that Jesus will talk to us, uh, uh, but you know, uh, he'll, and we'll talk to him. He'll talk to us, uh, and so I'm glad for that today. And so I want to send our broadcast out to all those that are sick and afflicted and those that are bedfast and in the rest homes. Uh, uh, if they're able to get out and to see the broadcast, I I'm praying that God will just bless them and they'll be lifted up and able to go down life's highway with a shout because that they know. Whenever we lay this whole body down, this 
You see, the Bible says we got to put off immortality. Yep. We got to put off this old mortal body and yep. put on immortality. And whenever we do that, then we'll be in the presence of God. Well, praise His holy name. Heavenly Father, as we call upon you again today, we thank you for the blessings of God. We thank you, Lord, for your healing hand. God, that you're able to reach out across the airwaves. God, we don't have to touch them. The Holy Spirit is the one that does the work. He's the one that does the anointing. He's the one that brings the healing. And so we thank you, Father, for the move of the Holy Spirit. And I pray today, God, that each one will receive that from you, Father, which they need, whether it's sickness, uh, God, whether it's a financial blessing, uh, uh, a physical blessing, or uh, whatever it might be, Father, that they'll know uh, that it comes from the presence of God. Amen. And so we thank you, Lord, and we praise you. Pray, God, that you'd bless these uh, uh, that's come to sing for us tonight. Use them, God, as instruments of righteousness. Uh, your love and your spirit will flow through them. Uh, and, Father, we'll thank you and praise you for it uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, all right, they're going to come and sing for us. <clears throat> this song's called Wilt Thou Be Made Whole. Jesus came to Bethesda's pool. I like that. Where the cripple did wait for the water to move. A man had been lame for 38 years. He asked him this question that still rings in my ears. Wilt thou be made whole? Do you want a new life? Wilt thou be made whole and believe in Christ? God's question to you Will thou be made whole? <coughs> he said there is no man to help me in yeah, the listen pool. Listen to the words. Listen to the words. <coughs> I try to get up. There's nothing I can do. Jesus said, rise, take up thy bed and go. And by his faith, he was made whole. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Wilt thou be made whole? Do you want a new life? Question to you Will thou be made whole? Thank you. Will thou be made whole? Do you want a new life? Will thou be made whole and believe? Question to you Will 
God's question to you. Wilt thou be made whole? Well, praise God. You know, Brother Earl, <laughs> as I was in the shower tonight after you all left, I got to thinking about how you're always praying for people. And the Lord spoke to me, and he said, pray for Earl. Pray for Earl. He needs it, and he needs it bad. Brother Earl, I want you to come up here. Betty, Audra, Ron, we need you all in here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes. Yes. Earl's been on his medication that has making him so shaky. And tonight he needs prayer bad. Thank you, Father. And I think we ought to just pray yeah. for him. And well, Ron, uh, Ron, I've asked Ron Bennett to lead us in prayer, and we'll agree. Okay. Well, praise Thank, you, Father. Father. <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity we have to come before the whole down people down here in TV land. Thank you, Lord. Bring you praise and glory, Lord, for your work. You. We know there's time, yes. Lord, that each of us goes through a problem. We need help and strength in the way we're doing. There's sickness and things, Lord, and you said when we get together and call together that you take care of our problems. We ask you tonight, Lord, to do Strengthen the world tonight. Heal him this thing and give him the voice that he can sing, that he can praise and give the word that needs to be done. All these praises things. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, you know, Brother Roscoe is going to sing here in a minute. But you know, as Sister Wilda started singing this song, it says that Jesus came where the man was laying by the pool. Jesus came, and he looked at him, and he said, Will you be made whole? Amen. Well, you know, I'm glad tonight that he came. <laughs> glory, glory. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm glad that he came. Well, we prayed for Earl's voice, and now he's ready to preach for another hour. <laughs> The anointing of Christ is what we need, isn't it? Amen. And we got it here tonight. Amen. I've nominated, nominated Brother Rod to sing tonight. And uh, we're going to kind of join in with him. Anybody like to sing with him? Come right on in. You know that song, Brother Ron? It, blood on my soul. <laughs> no, that's not it. I claim the blood. I claim the blood. Okay. That was close, wasn't it? I want to thank God for the blessing. Yeah. His love, his mercy is so good. I just thank him every day. He takes care of me. Amen. I praise him. I have a soul of strength when I am weak. Listen to it. That takes me through. Listen to the words. When life it dwells in me I have a soul A power from above I'm covered over By the shield of love I 
Praise God. I'm glad tonight for the goodness and the greatness of God. Yes. I'm glad that God is a healer. Somebody wrote me a paper the other day and I started reading it. it the first thing that, was, that I read was, if you had never been sick, it was a letter from God. If you had never been sick, you'd never know I was a healer. And so you see, every once in a while we go through these things. But my, I'm glad for the greatness and the goodness of God. Amen. Yes, I am. Praise God. There's a scripture, you can find this in the fourth chapter of Philippians, starting with verse number five. He says, Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. <laughs> You think about that. The Lord is at hand. You don't have to be satisfied for less than what God wants to give you. Take it all. God wants to give it to you. It's free. Doesn't cost you a thing. Believe me, I know. Why? Because when I got saved, I didn't understand. I did not understand it at all. And I'd look up and I'd say, God, what's it going to cost me? I was talking about dollars and cents. God said it don't cost you anything. God was talking about life. You see the difference? I gave it to you. I've given you life. And if you walk the way I want you to, you'll have eternal life. Yeah, bless your name. You will have eternal life. Jesus, as the song will to sing, I made a comment about it. But you see, Jesus will come right there where you are. Yeah. Doesn't make any difference where you're at. If you've got a heart that's seeking after God, 
God will make his appearance right there. You might not see him with the naked eye, but honey, you'll feel his presence and you'll know. You'll feel the anointing of God and you'll know. No, it don't, it, you're not saved by feelings. You're saved by faith. Yeah. By faith. Not of works, lest man should boast. It's a gift from God. And so keep that in mind. Now then, he says, be careful for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known yeah. unto God. Think of this. What he's saying, he said, be careful for nothing. He said, don't worry. Don't fret. Don't, get, don't let your life get in a tizzy. You see, this is what happens. Do you know that worrying causes different kinds of cancer? That's right. Worrying. I didn't bring it uh, up. The doctors made the statement. It wasn't something that I'd done. I, but you see, it causes cancer if you worry. And so, you see, we worry too much. We worry about, and a lot of times we're the children of God. Yes. And we worry from day to day. I'm just barely getting by. I'm just barely making it. Why did Jesus come? Read John 10 and 10. The last phrase of that verse of Scripture says, Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Uh -huh. He didn't say that I've come that you can have life so uh, that you could just barely make it by. You see, a lot of times it's our fault. Why? Because we don't wait on God. We, we want things, and, and instead of waiting on God, we run out and buy them, and then we look up and say, God, I need help. I need help. We wouldn't if we'd wait on God because God takes care of His. He makes a way for His people. He's not slack concerning His promises. He keeps every promise that He ever made. God keeps His promises. Uh, uh, as the old boy said, you can, take, you can take the Word of God to the bank and know. Uh, I might, yeah, you can be assured they're not going to give you anything for it, but you can take it to the bank of heaven and know uh, that you're going to get out of it what you put into it. Amen. What are you putting into it? How long has it been since we really got a blessing from God? How long has it been since we've felt uh, the anointing of the Holy Spirit flowing over our body? How long has it been, you see? We're, we're, and you want to watch why? Because the devil will just come up right up to you uh, in the middle uh, of you. You're getting all excited and, uh, and uh, my, you're, you're getting ready to raise your hands in the air and all at once you just kind of cool off and settle down. Why? Uh, because the devil just walked up beside you and said, you're going to make a fool out of yourself. Yeah. You know that if you get all excited like that, people are not going to like you. Well, I'm sorry about that, but that's just me. You see, I get excited. When I get excited, when I have room and I'm able to do it, I jump up and down. I tell people sometimes I shout, sometimes I cry, sometimes I laugh, and sometimes I take a running fit. You see why? Because that's just the way that God blesses me. And if God's not blessing you, then you are to enter into everything that you do with prayer and thanksgiving unto the Lord. How long has it been since you've really looked around and said, Lord, I thank you, I thank you, and begin to call out the things that God's blessed you with, and you've got a reason to be thankful. Why? Because of a morning, no doubt, I doubt whenever you get up, you've got a whole closet full of clothes hanging there. And if you don't, I mind there's places around that will give you clothes if you'll go get them. Now, they're not going to bring them to you, but if you need them, you can go get them. You see, we're, the kind, we're, we're getting into shape anymore that we expect everybody to wait on us. Yeah. We want everybody to bring us what we need, what we want. God don't work that way. He said, if you don't work, you don't eat. 
You see, God, God don't like a lazy person. I, I met people to say, well, I, 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 they didn't do anything else. I guess God will make a preacher out of them. No, God's not going to make a preacher out of them. <laughs> Why? Because they won't study. They won't read the Word of God. It, it, it takes work. If you want to be a successful preacher, I won't say that I'm successful, but I'm saying I've been faithful. I've been faithful. And so you see, this is what God's looking for. God's looking for faith. And if you're faithful, just like these singers, every time that they're called, if, if something is not hindering them, that they can't, they go and sing. And they do a good job. They get blessed. You see, well, that's the reason. You see, you've got to work at it. Yeah. You've got to work at it. And he says, let your request be made known unto the Lord. Unto the Lord our God. Let your request be made known unto the Lord. You see, he says, ask and it shall be given. He says, seek and you shall find. He says, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Amen. Do something. Yeah. You see, God's not going to just give it to you for nothing. You're, you're just sitting there waiting with your hands out. I, 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 I wait a lot of times, you see, we need to spend a little more time in prayer. I, I read about the man that he never, he, he was a millionaire. And he was a Christian. And other people say, well, you can't be a Christian if you're a millionaire. He said, do you know? Every time that I make a decision in my business, uh, he said, I take my Bible and I literally go into my closet uh, and I sit down and I read and I pray until I get the answer from God. And he said, if God says yes, I do it. If God says no, I forget it. You see, my, we need to be mindful of God. He said, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and your minds through Jesus Christ. Do what? If we'll be mindful of the things of God, God will keep our mind and will not lose it. And I, I know that the devil likes to get in there and stir you up and make you believe that you're nothing and you're not going to be uh, anything. You're not going to make it. But honey, if we would just look out and say, devil, I've been delivered from the curse of the law. Read my in Galatians. Yeah. My, read that and see what it says. We've been delivered from the curse of the law. And therefore, we have freedom in Christ Jesus uh, uh, to go forth uh, in the demonstrations of the Lord. Are you reading Mark uh, chapter 16? Uh, and he says, And these signs shall follow them uh, my, uh, that follow after Jesus. Uh, and so you see, I still believe in healing today. Why? Uh, because it happened when Jesus was here. Uh, I still believe in miracles today. Why? Because uh, uh, they happened when Jesus was here. Uh, you mean everybody's healed that you pray for? No. Why not? I don't know. I'm not God. I, I don't know what's in people's hearts, what's in their lives, what stands in their way. Um, I, and a lot of times I look up when people say, pray. I say, God, I don't have the faith for that. He said, it's not your faith. It's the faith of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Woo. Well, praise God. Uh, you see, we, we need to get excited about the things of God uh, that people can know uh, that God's alive. He's not a dead God. He's a live God. Yeah, and He's still sitting on the throne today. And our uh, Jesus is sitting right beside Him. And what's He doing? He's making intercession for the saints of God. That whenever we falter, whenever He fails, uh, or whenever we fail, uh, He looks over and He says, Father, these are my children. These uh, are the part of the church. Uh, they've been blood bought. Uh, they've been blood washed. Uh, and they're uh, trying to live for you and when God looks back all he sees is the blood of Jesus yes. Father in the name of Jesus reach down and touch those today save the lost heal the sick set the captives free deliver those God that are in bondage and we'll praise you and thank you in Jesus name God bless you is your prayer until this time next week